you know, it's all good and well mentioning how many psychics and frauds get away with making millions every year. Those who make the most money pose as legitimate religious figures. They claim to be prophets. They claim to be touched by God or even be somehow a manifestation of God. And because they're quoting the Bible and Christian themes, they're somehow legitimate in the eyes of the law. Not only that, many of these people are living well, not simply by fooling the credulous, but also by having tax exemptions. They use every loophole they can, and they have volunteers by the droves. Oppression and attack, we bind you up in the name of Jesus! You have people like Peter Popoff, Benny Hinn, Pat Robertson, and various other individuals who are making not merely millions like Deepak and like Sally Morgan, Teresa Caputo make, but they're making tens of millions every year by fooling people, using religion as a tool to scam people out of their hard-earned cash. Oh, I tell you, Jesus made you dance. And the kind of Peter Popoff character you find out there, demanding money, give your money now, make your free miracle water actually work by sending off a donation. It's almost like trying to pay off sin. Do you think you've got sin? Do you think you might be sinful? Are you afraid of going to hell? Pay a shitload of money to this guy. Are you poor and desperate with some savings? Want to get over your desperation? Get a better job? Get a better house? Change your mortgage? Well, guess what? You can. And how? By giving me all of your money. How the people seemed like they were under a spell. And for people who believe in miracles, it is no great leap to imagine that they can somehow cure all their problems by giving their last thousand dollars they managed to save over perhaps a couple of years towards some known charlatan. And if you try and talk to them, and perhaps even talk them out of their mistake, they'll probably think that you're deceived. They'll probably think that you're the one who's deluded. And they'll think that their experiences are true because they've seen people healed. They've seen people touched by the Holy Spirit. They've seen people affected by the wisdom of the Bible. People perhaps having revelation. People having experiences of the Spirit. And that will be so powerful for them, as well as the ideas of the Bible and everything else. The enemy has got to discredit the voices of faith and grace and truth because he don't want you to know that you can walk on the water if you can look at Jesus. They will accept that as being true and you as being mistaken. But not everyone is that devout. There are many people out there who realize it's a load of tricks. It's a load of bullshit. It is not factually correct to say that these people work on behalf of some kind of higher power. You can get through to people who see past the nonsense. They see the lies or realize something's not quite right. And those people you perhaps can help. And with the devout, those who truly believe, those who accept and have very few doubts, if any, those people might not listen to you. They might not want to accept what you say, but give it a month, a year, maybe longer, and they might realize that they have been ripped off, that they have been deceived by a person simply trying to fleece them for all of their money.